Uh, welcome to you all in my YouTube channel Express Mathematics. Today in this video, I am going to teach you how to find out equation of straight line uh, using point slope form and two point form. Before starting, I want you to make sure that you please subscribe my channel if you have not already subscribed, so that I will be encouraged to make more videos, and also press bell icon so that you will be informed about my coming videos. Okay, so now I'll start by today's topic. Uh, here I have brought some questions in which we have to use point slope form and two point form. If coordinate of one point is given and gradient or slope, which gradient is the synonym for slope, is given, then we use point slope form. Here, given point is x1, y1 equals to 4 comma minus 3 and slope gradient or slope m equals to minus 3 over 4. So if point is given and slope m is given, then we use point slope form. We know equation of straight line in point slope form is by its name it is clear that if point is given slope is given then we have to use this equation is y minus y1 equals to in place of m x minus x1 is the formula equation of straight line in sl point slope form is y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 so in place of x1 we substitute 4 from here in place of y1 we substitute minus 3 from there and in place of m we put minus 3 over 4. Now this implies y minus y1 value is minus 3. m value from here is minus 3 over 4. x minus x1 value from here is 4. Now this implies y minus times minus d plus 3 equals to minus 3 times x minus 3x minus times minus plus 3 for the 12. And uh, here y plus 3 and this 4 also multiplies here okay this 4 multiplies this y plus 3 and minus 3x minus minus plus 3 for the 12 and now 4 times y 4y 4 3 the 12 minus 3x plus 12 this 12 when it comes here becomes minus 12 so this 12 and that will be cancelled so this implies 3x plus 4y equals to 0 hence a required equation of the line is required equation of the line is 3x plus 4y equals to 0. Okay, in this way, if one point is given and slope is given using point slope form, we can find out equation of straight line. Now let's move to the next question. Okay, so in this uh, we have to show that these three points lie on the same straight line. Okay, so in other words, we can say that these three points are collinear. Collinear means lying on the same line. In collinear, co means same, linear means related to the line. Okay, so collinear meaning is lying on the same line. So first of all, uh, from given two points, using two point form, we can find out equation of straight line. And in that straight line, we'll substitute this last point 
and if it satisfies then these three points lie on the same line okay we will solve in that way look at the solution to this question Uh, let x1 y1 equals to 1 3 and x2 y2 equals to 2 4 and we know equation of straight line in two point form is y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1 or you can also write equation of straight line passing through the points x1 y1 and x2 y2 is y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 times x minus x1 so in this equation we substitute value of x1 y1 from here and value of x2 y2 from here and we will get the required equation y minus y1 value from here is 3 y2 value from here 4 y1 value from here 3 x2 value from here 2 and x1 value from here 1 x minus x1 is 1 here okay now y minus 3 equals to 4 minus 3 1 2 minus 1 1 x minus 1 okay and this implies y minus 3 equals to 1 uh, uh, divided by 1 1 itself that 1 times x minus 1 is x minus 1 so now x minus 1 this y minus 3 goes to other side minus y plus 3 and uh, here it is shifted to other side so equal to 0 will be here if you write equal to 0 here its meaning is that this expression is 0 if you write equal to 0 here that meaning its meaning is also this expression is 0 so we can write equal to 0 on this side as well this implies x minus y 3 minus 1 2 equals to 0 okay so uh, now uh, we have to prove that they lie on the same line so substituting 3 5 on this equation you can call this as equation 1 substituting 3 5 in above equation okay substituting coordinate 3 5 in above equation in place of x you can put 3 in place of y you can put 5 plus 2 equals to 0 here 3 plus 2 5 minus 5 will be 0 equals to 0 true that means this last coordinate made this equation true therefore the given points lie on the same line therefore the given points lie on the same line uh, now to find the intercepts on the axis we will uh, change this equation in double intercept form. Now from equation 1, equation 1, what we can write is x minus y equals to minus 2, dividing both sides by minus 2, x minus y, here minus 2, here also dividing by minus 2, minus 2 divided by minus 2 okay and this will be this implies x over minus 2 plus y over 2 equals to 1 therefore if you compare this with x over a our equation of straight line in double interest form is equation of straight line in double intercept form is x over a plus y over b equals to 1 so if you 
compare this equation with that double digit form exit shift a equals to in place of a we have minus 2 in place of b we have 2 exit shift a equals to minus 2 y shift b equals to 2 therefore x intercept intercept a equals to minus 2 y intercept b equals to 2 in this way we have found out intercepts on the axis okay both intercepts on the axis we have found out this a and b are the intercepts on the axis this axis it is the plural of axis okay so x axis and y axis taken together are known as axis okay now let's move to the next question next question tells find the equation of the line passing through the points 1 5 and 5 1 also find the length of the portion intercepted between the axis so intercepted between the length of the portion intercepted between the axis means the length of the portion intercepted between x axis and y axis so first of all we will find out equation of the line passing through these two points and we will change this into double intercept form and we will find out uh, where this line intersects x axis and y axis and we find the distance between those two points and we can find out the length of the portion intercepted between the axis so now let's begin solution here let x1 y1 equals to 1 5 and x2 y2 equals to 5 1 and we know equation of straight line in double intercept form is y minus y1 equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 x minus x1 so y minus y1 from here is 5 y2 from here 1 minus y1 5 x2 value is 5 minus from the formula x1 value from here 1 x minus x1 is 1 this implies y minus 5 equals to 1 minus 5 minus 4 5 minus 1 4 x minus 1 now 4 can cancel with this 1's are this minus x minus 1 that will come here and becomes x minus 1 only this outside sign changes other remains same plus y minus 5 equals to 0 so x plus y minus 1 and minus 5 minus 6 equals to 0 this implies x plus y equals to 6 okay say so this to be equation 1 and uh, we have to change this into double intercept form so we will divide both sides by 6 plus y over 6 equals to 1 dividing both sides by 6 x over 6 plus y over 6 equal to 6 divided by 6 is 1 so if you compare this equation with equation of straight line in double intercept form is except form is x over a plus y over b equals to 1 and if you compare with this then x intercept a is in place of a we have 6 so x intercept a equals to 6 y intercept b equals to also 6 and in this line 
this line intersects x axis at a comma zero y axis at zero comma b so this line intersects x axis at six comma zero and y axis at zero comma b okay so the line intersects intersects x axis at axis at a comma zero in place of a we have six six comma zero and y axis at zero comma b that means zero six okay and you can call this as point a and you can call this as point b and now a b using distance formula you can find out a b uh, distance formula is x2 minus x1 whole square and y2 minus y1 whole square okay you can suppose this to be x1 y1 this to be x2 y2 so a b by the use of distance formula you can find out that is x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square is equals to x2 is 0 is x1 that is 6 the square plus y2 that is 6 so y1 0 square root over to this and now uh, minus 6 square that is 36 Plus 6 square also 36 root over to this 72 root over to this 36 times 2 the square root of 36 is 6 times root 2 units in this way a length of the portion intersected between the axis is 6 root 2 hence length of the yes, length of the portion portion intercepted between the axis equals to six root two units. Okay, so the length of the hence length of the portion intercepted between the axis is 6 root 2 that means here if you suppose this to be a point this to be b point and this a b this a b is the length of the portion intercepted between the axis and here in our case our a point is 6 comma 0 this a point is 6 comma 0 instead of a we have 6 and this b point is 0 comma 6 in our case so the same between a 60 and b 0 6 this 6 root 2 okay in this way we have found the equation of the line passing through the points uh, this two points 1 5 and 5 1 this is one of the uh, required answer and this is another required answer okay so i have written length of the person between the axis and you can write in conclusion hence required line equation of uh, required equation of the straight line is x plus y equals to 6 and the length of the portion intersected between the axis is 6 root 2 units okay in this way uh, you can uh, conclude this and uh, if you need to copy it you can pause the video and copy it i hope that you found this uh, video helpful uh, thank you for watching uh, if you have not already subscribed my channel, please do not uh, forget to subscribe my channel. Uh, and that, and so I will also be encouraged to make more videos, and also press bell icon so that you will be informed about my uh, coming videos. Uh, thank you very much.